Hi y'all. Get ready to cancel them subscriptions. I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute. I'm sorry. I have been doing a lot of moving, a lot of adjusting, a lot of all that. So I'm finally sitting down and getting some time to get back to you guys. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm stiff. Anywho, what should we talk about today? I just got off of a live stream uh, conference uh, call, Google Hangouts conference call with uh, my brother Black Supreme and Jeff Soulless, two separate brothers. Um, I ended up having technical difficulties, which left me out of most of the call. And I'm still so frustrated about that because I had so much good stuff to tell my people, y'all. Anywho, go make sure you check them out. Make sure you check out that's Black Supreme. Check out his YouTube videos. Um, I definitely will be in on more. And uh, there's a lot of things we touched on today. Today we had talked about cognitive dissonance and uh, what it means to be a slave. And that ventured on to many things. But one of the things that I wanted to touch on in the live stream conference call that I ended up not being able to stay in on, I'm going to talk about here, which is we have to. And like I said, cancel your subscriptions, y'all. This means don't subscribe to this propaganda. It means don't subscribe to these ideals. It means don't subscribe to the hype or the BS. Stop letting these people lie to you. We have to desubscribe from the idea that continental Africans don't fuck with us. We have to. Because it's not true. It's not true. First off, uh, most of my black friends here in America are Africans that came from the continent of Africa. It had been here, whether it be for three years or that it be for 13 years, you know. Um, and they come over here with this idea that we don't like them, you know. It's these people. These people are, are toying and playing with both sides. That's like telling one friend some BS. Oh, psst, yeah, you know she don't like you. This and the third, and then telling this friend, oh yeah, you know she don't like you. Yeah, she said this and the third. And then when they get together, they automatically like. Mm. When that's not the case, but if they really talk it out, they realize, one, someone was twisting stuff up and, and planting the BS, you know? So we have to stop with this idea in our heads that we don't mess with each other. Whether it's you're a displaced African, uh, African, continental Africans do rock with us. Whether you're not sure a continental African, uh, American Africans do rock with you, you know? And they, uh, there's this idea going around, again, it's all hype, it's all propaganda, and it's not actuality. And it's unfortunate that we look to the propaganda, we look to the mainstream media, we look to all these things to give us information, and we don't research things in actuality, you know? I know several people right now who have connections to Africa where the African governments are giving them land over there so that they can start cultivating what they need to do. Our brothers and sisters on the, on, on the motherland continent need us. They need us to start connecting and investing and tracing our roots back so that we can get the white man from over there robbing us. We have to desubscribe from this idea that we're not all brothers and sisters, that we're not all connected. Whether or not we are in Central America, whether or not we're in South America, whether or not we're in Europe. Yes, there are plenty of African people in Europe. I know, I know a European African, you know, goes here to my school. He's Congolese, born in the Congo raised since he was like three in France, but guess what? That's still no matter he's still an African man. <laughs> that is still an African man. You know? We have to desubscribe from this idea that African is a continent. African to be African is not to be born on the continent of Africa. That's false. Because all them Europeans, all those Caucasoids, all those cave Beckys, Neanderthals, Tongs and stuff occupying Africa right now that are really Dutch, that are really British, that are really all that kind of stuff, they will never be Africans even though they live on the continent of Africa. Their nationality, which means the nation that they're from, you could stretch and say is African, but they will never be African. Africa, to be African, is a people before it is a continent, before it is anything. African is a people. African is a blood. African is, a, is, is that, period. It's life. It's truth. It's melanin. It's baby hairs on fleek. It's a, that's what African is. African is a people before it's a continent. It is a people, then it is a, a spirituality and truth, then it is a culture. And within that culture, you have many, 
many, many different cultures. Um, just period. You know, you have the African and American culture, which has hundreds of subcultures depending on what part of America you're in. You have the African, uh, the continental African cultures, which has thousands and thousands of different cultures depending on what con or which country you're in and then which tribe you're in and then which this you're in and what that you're in. You have um, Central American and South American African cultures, which um, vary depending on what country you're in and what side you're in and all that kind of stuff as well. So you, we, have to, we have to understand that we cannot continue to, one, allow people to keep telling us that black is a culture, that African is a culture, because it's not. It's a, it's a bloodline. It's a people. It is a people first. So no matter where you are, you are African, <laughs> you know? Um, I hate that. People want to say things like, oh, I don't care what nobody say, Tina Marie is black. I saw that on my Instagram, y'all. Oh, no matter, um, oh, yeah, I think we should think Rachel Dolezal is black or this and that. By conceding to that stuff, then you are conceding to the fact that being African or being black, and I use them interchangeably because they do mean the same thing, um, you're conceding to the fact that it's just a culture. It's not. I have a really close friend of mine, I love and respect and a death and all that kind of stuff, but he tried to convince me that black is a culture. And I'm like, bruh, it's not. He's like, uh, yeah, it is. You know, I have more in common with the mixed kid here in America because of our culture and, you know, the half of them that's, that is African than I do with um, my grandma who is Honduran, Garifa and Honduran, which is the Africans over there. And I'm like, no. You look into the system for validation, they're going to have you believing, yeah, that you have more in common than someone who's non-black here in America and have you think that black is a culture before it's a people um, and that you don't have anything in common with a continent African or another displaced African because they want you to stay divided. They want you to have no connection to us. They want you to feel like as if you're, we're not all a part of each other. In actuality, you can take, I say this time and time and time and time again, y'all, you can take the African out of Africa, but you can't take the Africa out of the African. You can't do it. It's impossible. It shows up time and time and time again. The stuff we're doing here in America, whether it be musically, culturally, and dance, whether it be um, traditions or um, slang terms or certain ways we do things, it's, I promise you, we can find it on the motherland. We can find it on the motherland. I was just watching a video today on, on, on Facebook, and it had a bunch of continental Africans getting it in with their little dance, and a lot of the stuff they did resembled how we be getting it over here. I didn't know y'all was hitting the corner in, um, in Nigeria. Like, <laughs> come on out, you know? We have to stop thinking that. It's not the same, you know? I talk to my African homies all the time. They start talking about, oh, my gosh, my parents this, and oh, my gosh, this and that. It's like, bruh, I get it, you know? Because even though we don't have the exact same culture, in fact, different countries in Africa all have different cultures, we still have the same principles, we still have the same roots, we still have the same just the everything, just the word maybe is different, or instead of a belt, it's a sandal somewhere, and instead of a sandal, it's a rod somewhere else, you know, so we got to... We gotta get it together, y'all. Reach out to our continental brothers and sisters. Reach out to our other displaced brothers and sisters. Do not believe the hype and propaganda that one, who you're not the same, and that two, we don't mess with each other because we do. I promise you, they need us over there, and we need them over here, and vice versa. We gotta unify. We gotta unify for real and make it your business to talk to three new black people that you ain't spoke to before today. The ones you be seeing all around campus or wherever you at that you just always never say nothing to. Make it your business. Three new people. Try to do it every week if you can. Because we gotta, we gotta, we gotta change this up. Um, also, remember to follow me on Instagram. Uh, click the link to my GoFundMe. We need this library, y'all. I promise you, we need this library. How am I supposed to teach our kids? And I have like 13 books. Um, as usual, black love, black pride, black power, and continue to cancel your subscriptions. Adios.